If you're a machinist, calibrating your probe and tool setter is a simple but vital step. Do it right and you will make better parts more consistently. That's a good thing. So grab the popcorn because you're about to watch exactly how to calibrate your Renishaw probe and Renishaw tool setter for your Doosan machine. Let's do this. Welcome to Know Your Doosan. Today's topic, calibrating your Renishaw probe and Renishaw tool setter. Knowing how to calibrate your probe and tool setter will help you make better parts more consistently. Before we start, you're going to need a few things. A magnetic base with a dial indicator that reads to 5 tenths of an inch for precision. You're also going to need a 2 millimeter Allen wrench for adjusting the Renishaw stylus bar. Third, you need a master tool with a known diameter and known distance on the tool from the gauge line of the machine for calibrating your tool setter. And last, you need a ring gauge with a known diameter for calibrating your probe. Have you got all that? Great. One more step before we get to actual calibration. Before calibrating, we have to make sure the stylus ball on our probe is concentric to our spindle within five tenths of an inch. This is called trimming in the head. Dusan recommends making your probe the last tool number in your magazine. So in the case of this DNM, that's gonna to be tool number 30. I'm going to command G43, end of block, M6, T30, end of block, H30, end of block, into MDI. So with our probe now in the spindle, we wanna get a rough idea of just how out of center that stylus ball truly is. We're gonna put it up to a mounted vice jaw or square surface that's mounted in the machine. On the Renishaw probe, it has fine adjustment screws and set screws for trimming the ball in and locking it into place. You'll need your two millimeter Allen wrench to use these. We'll adjust the ball as close to center as we can with the fine adjustment screws on the probe. Once we've visually put it on center, we will mount our magnetic base to the table of our machine and place the indicator on the stylus ball. Now we can spin the probe by hand to see exactly how much runout we have in the probe. We can then adjust the probe to within 5 tenths of an inch concentricity and lock our probe down using the same Allen wrench. There, we have now made our stylus ball concentric to the spindle of our machine. Let's get to calibrating. Alright, this is great. We've trimmed our probe in and we want to get this thing calibrated so we can get to probing our parts and automatically setting our work offsets. This makes our lives easier and makes our bosses a whole lot happier. All right, I want you to mount the ring gauge in the machine flat to the table. You can do it with magnets or mount it in a vise with a V-lock. The most important thing here is that it is flat to a known surface. All right, at this point, we're ready to move over to the control and let the GUI software calibrate our probe. I want you to press the GUI hard key and that'll take you to the Doosan Renishaw program page. Once you're there on the Ringui page, I want you to press calibration, then I want you to press probe radius, and last, I want you to enter the data in the feature diameter and the stylus diameter. At this point, your Doosan machine will show a message to move the probe close to the center of the ring gauge and put the machine in memory mode. I want you to follow these instructions. Press the memory key and put the machine into memory mode. Then I want you to press cycle start and the calibration sequence will automatically begin. Once the machine has completed calibration of the probe radius, we'll need to calibrate the length of the probe to a known height. You'll need a gauge block or some type of square block with a known distance. I want you to place that gauge block on your tabletop. Inside the Ringui page, I want you to press calibrate, probe length, and then I want you to enter the data for the Z reference position. You're now gonna see a message that the machine wants you to move the probe 400 thousandths above the reference surface. Let's go ahead and put the machine in memory mode and then press cycle start. Once the height is calibrated, the calibration of the probe is complete. If you're to this point, you've done a great job. You got one last step. Let's calibrate the tool setter. Dusan recommends making your master tool your next to last tool in your carousel. So in the case of my DNM, I'm gonna make that tool number 29. I'm going to command G43, end of block, M6, T29, end of block, 
H29 and a block into MDI. The height on the master tool should be entered in the tool offset page for tool 29. Next, let's press that GUI hard key and then the Doosan Renishaw program should display on your screen. Once the Rangui page is displayed, press Calibrate, Toolset, and then Full. Right here, you're gonna enter the master tool diameter. Note that the tool number and length are already noted in the boxes and grayed out. The machine is gonna prompt you to move the master tool into the noted position and within 400 thousandths of the tool setter stylus. It will also tell you to put the machine in memory mode and press cycle start. Once the machine has completed the calibration process, the tool setter is calibrated and we're ready to touch off all of our tools and finally start making some chips. I really wanna thank you for watching this video today. Hopefully you know your Doosan even better than you did just a few minutes ago. If you have a question about your specific Doosan machine that you'd like to see answered in a future video, just post it right there in the comments. Have a great day and have fun making those chips fly.